What happens when you don't collect your skin from the gold pass? Thankfully, Judas Sloth tested this for us and he risked his skin and found out that it will automatically collect your hero skin as long as you've reached the final tier in the gold pass. That's the first fact and I have nine more hero skin facts that you need to know. I found the most frequently asked question from my comment section on my hero skin ranking videos. Seriously, I get these questions all the time so I just decided to put them all into one video. All the gold pass skins will come back after one year year for 1500 gems for you to buy in the shop. Legendary skins are not as predictable though. We don't really know when they're going to come or if they're going to come back at all. And when they do come back, they're only going to come back temporarily. Some legendary skins are a mystery, but others we are able to predict. The Warrior King and Warrior Queen came back, so we can assume that the Lunar King will also come back for Lunar New Year. The Champion King came back, so we can assume that the Champion Queen will also come back for the Clash of Clans World finals. The Beat King will most likely come back because it was in celebration of Clash of Clans anniversary. The Jungle Champion did not come back and it's already been a year since she first released. We have no idea if the Fierce King, the Ice King, Primal Champion, and Shadow Warden will ever come back. Legendary skins are always $9.99 and standard skins are always $3.99. If you buy a hero skin from the shop, Clash of Clans will save that skin for you so when you unlock the hero, you will already have that skin on your hero. For example, if you are not Town Hall 13 yet, but a Royal Champion skin comes out in the shop, you can buy that skin, but it will not show up until you unlock the Royal Champion. So you don't need to worry about missing out on any skins because you can just buy all the skins and then you'll get them whenever you get that hero. Skins that you can buy for money, like legendary skins and standard skins for $9.99 and $3.99 will show up even if you don't have that hero unlocked but the skins that you can buy with gems from the gold pass will not show up until you've unlocked that hero. In the cosmetics tab of the shop, you can see a brief overview of the effects you'll get from a skin by clicking the little eye icon right next to the hero skin. This is just a brief overview though, and it won't tell you how long animations last or how long sound effects last or how good the animations and sound effects really are. If you do wanna see all the animations and sound effects for a skin before you buy it, I have a playlist linked in the description where I put together most of the hero skins with all their animations and sound effects in like 30 seconds or less. The only animation you can see before you buy a skin is the first selection animation. All the other ones will be hidden until you actually buy the skin. You can see which skins your friends or other players have by visiting their base and clicking on their hero altar and then clicking the view skin button or you can just click on their profile and see all four skins that they have selected. Hero skins do not give you an advantage in any way in attacking or defending other than striking fear into the hearts of your enemies but other than that they're only there to make your heroes look a little bit better it can be very hard to decide which hero skin you should buy in this video i broke down the three things that you should look for when buying a hero skin